Hi everybody. I'm just making sure it's actually still live. Because it doesn't look like it is. There it is. Into the top. Okay, so it's at the top of the page. Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. The sun is shining today and it looks amazing. So, a couple quick things I wanted to show you. So, Lisa and John were kind enough to send me a, I think they called this the fill station. But I'm going to show you what this is for before we start. I also have some um, imperfect tipsies to give away. So, if you haven't already, make sure you do leave a comment. So, let me show you. What did I do? Oh, I made a mess there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Do I have one that's not filled? Well, you could use this for anything, really. You could even use it for your aqua painter if you wanted to fill it with alcohol. But I think I have a new one here. Let me see. It's the hazards of being unprepared. I had a brand. Yep, here's one. Okay, so... And you could use this to fill your aqua painter, not with water, because obviously it would be the sink, but if you were going to use alcohol for it. But what you can do with your Stampin' Spritzer, so you have that here. So there's a little spot for you to put the cap, and then you can put your lid in upside down. So if you were going to fill this with alcohol, if you're not using it to make your own hand sanitizer, get my not funny, funny joke there. <laughs> But you can put everything in here, and then we'll just put some, we'll put some alcohol in, and we'll add, I'm trying to think what color. I was going to use, my friend Rhonda was kind enough, oh my gosh, sorry, my alcohol is kind of at the low end here. So I'm only going to fill about halfway. So my friend Rhonda was kind enough to let me borrow her brand new outdoor barbecue stamp set. So you would put your alcohol in, and I'm trying to think what color would be fun. It probably would be most fun if we did terracotta, only because like we could do the beef in the background, which I think would be kind of neat. But to do this one, what I might do is I'm going to do pretty peacock, just to have a different color, something different. So I'm just going to take my reinker. Now this probably isn't a color you would maybe think of doing a spritzer with, but beauty of it is, if you don't like it, you can always... I'll put in one more drop. You can always change it so that was just some pretty peacock ink refill and then I'm gonna shake this up a little bit before I add it so we do have currently champagne and um oh my goodness what's the white one frost white but also if you had the gold or the copper so you just want to shake this up before you pour it so this is the all-purpose ink this is the shimmer paint so I'm just going to give a little bit of a drop not too much just one one good drop and I'm gonna wipe this off before I close it up I'm trying to be a little bit neater in my crafting so you can totally top this off a little bit higher I just kind of stopped a little lower then you're just gonna put your lid back on so you can see everything in there in the bottom and then give it a shake So they did send this to me for free. It was very nice of them. I was going to buy one. I actually meant to buy. I keep meaning to buy a tape deck. But then everything is all in there and you didn't spill anything or make a mess. And you could even keep these in here if you needed to. For the meantime, you could put that one in there. You could put your aqua painter in there and keep them so you have them handy. And it doesn't take up a terrific amount of space. So that's the nice part about their products. You can get these in many, many different colors. So again, I'm just going to give you a quick peek here you can find them on etsy or on facebook at crafter solutions so thanks again to you guys for sending me this again i do have some free tipsies which are in case you haven't ever seen these before i know lots of times i get questions i don't ever put the lid on my glue anymore because what i tend to do is i'll just pull kind of the little tacky piece off and then go with it and otherwise it does doesn't leak out maybe like a teeny bit once in a great while but and you can put the lid on if you want but I'm just kind of if you know me you know I'm a little bit of a lazy stamper but 
And we're going to maybe use this today for something. I'm not exactly sure what, but I did want to, to show you. Now, I did use two drops of reinker, so this is going to give this pretty heavy color if you spritz it. So you do want to make sure if you spray this that you kind of give yourself something to clean up in the background so you don't make a huge mess, which would be cool. We could actually even do the swimming thing. We could do the swimming background and stamp him. So that would be kind of neat. We could do that. But I want to do one today where we make a gift card holder first using the Outdoor Barbecue Stamp Set. I think I'm going to use Terracotta. You probably could even do Cajun Craze or the two of these together if you wanted it a little bit darker. But this is available currently. This is a, a stamp set that could carry you through to Father's Day, graduation. This one's also really cool. You know the Rainbow Stamper wanted me to get this, but I haven't gotten it yet. But you could use these little things here. They kind of look like... If you notice, they use these little tire tracks here. Kind of looks like corn cobs. Pretty neat, huh? And then they made their own um, paper for the inside of their gift bag, which is really cute. You could make a little invite. Lots of fun stuff for that. And then this one even, I do love this stamp set. Love the words here as well. So this one's really neat. And I'm going to try to do this one in the future because this one they actually used embossing paste to kind of make it look like waves. So I think I'm going to have to do one of these ahead of time. That way it'll be dry, but we'll do one of these two soon. So I was thinking actually of doing that Wednesday. So we might do that one. So maybe this will be a dude card week because I know a lot of times people have trouble with dude cards. I did draw a bunch of winners the other day for comments. So make sure you check out my blog for the uh, March winners drawing because your name could be on there. I did ship out a bunch of stuff already and I did get two other responses, but make sure you go back and check that. That was a live video that I did. So we're going to use this stamp set and I'm going to get out some, uh, that's grapefruit. I want terracotta. <laughs> I recently went through my papers. Actually, the Rainbow Stamper helps me. I went through my papers so I could reorder some paper because there's a couple card stocks I was almost out of. So I actually put them back into color order. I'm very proud of myself. I'm not sure how long they'll stay that way, though. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually score this, and that way you could technically do two of these. So if you don't want to make two, you're going to cut it first. But we're going to score at five and a half. And then we're going to score at two and three quarters. All right. And then we're going to cut this at four and a quarter. Okay. So you have two you can use. Now I'm only going to make one for now. What I am going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit off of this one side. So you can see this is the folded side. We're going to make a gift card holder. So we're going to fold this flap in. So I'm going to take a little bit off. That way it goes a little bit smoother. So I'm going to take off about an eighth of an inch. You probably could do a sixteenth, but we'll go with an eighth. So then what we're going to do is this is going to get folded in. Make sure you use your bone folder. Crease it nicely. And we're going to fold this in. And now you have a myriad of choices, but since I have this handy here on my desk because I didn't put it away, I'm going to just use the one and a quarter inch punch and just punch out a little half circle. I'm going to try and center this a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it looks about right. Just like that. That way, when you put your gift card in, they can see that there's something there. Okay, so we're going to stamp this first. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp this. We're going to kind of decorate it, and then we'll add some extra stuff to it, and then we'll stamp that too. So I really am not 100% sure what we're going to do because, honestly, I wasn't even planning on going live today. I was supposed to be exercising right now, but my exercise partner had to go to an appointment. So I went to Aldi and got some little bit of groceries, and then I thought, I'll just come home and make the card instead. That'll be more fun. So I have a couple blocks, and we're going to just stamp these randomly. So that's why I have these opened up. So I'm going to do both sides. And actually, what I'm going to do, let me just show you this. That way we can kind of go over the edge. Is I'm going to flip this like this. Let's see. What am I trying to do here? Hold on. I want this to be here. I'm going to start with this side. So I do have my easy clean mat underneath, so I'm not really worried about the top or the bottom. But I'm going to stamp the grill a couple times. And kind of that way I can go over, over here. So this is terracotta tile, one terracotta tile. So I'm going to see what this looks like. It might be a little too light. That looks kind of cool. And I'm going to grab a couple other things. 
while I have them here, we'll grab the corn. And now this can overlap, so I'm not really super worried about that. We'll do one more of these here, kind of over at the bottom. And then one more, a little bit there. All right, so that'll be all for that one. I feel like I think we're good with the corn. Let's add something else in. So we'll just take this off. We'll add in. Everybody probably except for me loves ketchup. I don't love ketchup, so we're not putting ketchup on this one. <laughs> we'll put some kebabs. This would be really fun too if you could add in some sort of a uh, a grilling or barbecue based gift card. Of course, we have to add in some steak. Put one over here. You can change them all different directions too. You can make this any way you want. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you this for now. So this is gonna kind of be our card thus far. So we have our little gift card holder here. So this is pretty simple. Now, granted, you could do another layer over this in white and do it, but we're gonna do one as a very simple gift card. Let me just grab my towel and wipe this off. Okay, so being that this is going to be a simple gift card for this first one, what we'll do is you can either use some um, snail, fast fuse if you still have it, or double-sided tape. So I'm just going to do double-sided tape. And I'm going to put it little bit away from the edge not too far just a little bit away from the edge okay and then same when we're doing this little top piece here I'm just gonna put just oh no I don't want that because then it's not gonna slide in I probably should have gone down a little bit now that I'm looking at it but I'm not sure yeah I can't pick that up so that was a little silly of me you want to go closer to the bottom and leave at the top edge but luckily this gift card will fit in here perfectly so sorry I was must be having a backwards blonde moment because you definitely want to leave enough room. Now, one other thing that I usually do when I am finished with putting a gift card together. So this could be like for the last minute if you forgot to make a card, right? You could make a really simple card. So what I usually do is I will stick my bone folder or my finger in whatever's easier. And just kind of make sure that you have space. And also kind of make sure that the person can get their hands in there. So we'll slide this in. Luckily still works so that way it'll be all the way in there then what we'll do and this might be a little bit trickier but we have a little bit of time since we didn't make this too fancy we will do a little bit of fussy cutting for the outside so what I'm gonna do is trim this down so we're gonna make this four by five and a quarter okay and I have a scrap piece here. I thought I did anyway, of white. Yeah, this will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the... Ooh, what's that? That's something goofy. I'm going to stamp... This is our base piece. Just a steak here. Now this one I happen to coat the other side with double-sided paper. So the other, or double-sided adhesive. So the cool part about this is when I cut it out, it'll just stick right on. But let's do a couple other things. We have that. Grab my cleaning mat. And we'll do, all right, I'll do a ketchup bottle. Even though it's not my favorite thing. We'll do that. Or barbecue sauce. We'll pretend it's that. I don't really like barbecue sauce either, though. But you guys are probably at this point. Like, that's a lot of things not to like. Now, what I'm going to do to try to make this a little bit different is for the burger part, I'm actually going to use a couple different markers. So I'm going to grab crumb cake, early espresso, maybe a little bit of crushed curry, and a little bit of granny apple green. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my my bun first. So the top and bottom of my bun. And if you can't really tell what this is, you can always look at the picture too to find out exactly what it is you're looking at. So you can see you have your patty there. 
I'm going to add that in. So the patty is down here, but it kind of has the cheese triangle right above it. So we'll bring in, just kind of going from the opposite side, we'll bring this one is the crushed curry. Is that what I went with? Yes, crushed curry. Crushed curry. It's a big piece of cheese because I like a lot of cheese on mine. And then you're going to add just a teeny bit. We'll pretend like this is probably the lettuce up here with the granny apple green. So I'm just kind of trying to be gentle, but... All right, so there is that. You can always substitute tomato. So then what you're going to do is you're going to huff, exhale onto your stamp, which will kind of re-wet your ink. Now, granted, my bun does look a little bit crazy colored, so maybe you might not have wanted to go with a crumb cake bun. Maybe you wanted a little bit more of a Sahara sand bun might have been a better idea, but whichever the case is, we're going to use that. I am going to... Sometimes Sahara sand can be a little bit green, which is why sometimes I hesitate using it. So I'm going to do... Just wipe this off a little bit. Crumb cake. I'm going to just bring in a little bit of crumb cake on the bottom. Just a little bit on the top here for the bun. I'm going to go through now and add in a teeny bit of mango. Actually, this should be the cheese. See, when you stamp it, you actually see what it looks like a little bit better. I'm going to go just a little bit. I'm going to bring in a teeny bit as well of right where that cheese was because I went a little high. I'll put in tomato. Kind of just slightly filling in the color. Same thing again, granny apple green. I'll go up here with a little bit with the lettuce. Just kind of fill in a slight bit of the color, but it still looks pretty cool. So you could practice and fool around with it, do it different ways. So let me clean that off. You could even stamp this in black and then color it in. So anyway, it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these out real quick. So we have our burger, our condiment. I should have done this in yellow because I do absolutely love mustard. I think mustard is probably one of my favorites. Mustard and mayonnaise are my favorite condiments. <laughs> specifically together. So I'm just gonna fussy cut this out. This is a pretty rare steak. So we could even add in a little bit of color with this. And I know today normally would be the day that I would go live on YouTube, but I decided to go with Facebook instead. Now this already has double-sided adhesive. The, that's gonna stick really well. And most of these items, to be quite honest with you, really are not that much fussy cutting to cut out. They're actually pretty simple. So that's pretty easy. And then what you could do is you could pop a couple of these up on dimensionals. Great card for Father's Day. I know sometimes with the Stampin' Up! catalog, especially when we have the Occasions catalogs, they do tend to... Um, sell out of things when they get to the end of the life a little bit quicker. So if this is something that you've been thinking of getting, it's always better sometimes to have things ahead of time, personally, is what I find. Especially, too, with I find that sometimes my ideas, uh, I come up with them at a last minute, and there's no way I'm going to order something that's going to be <laughs> quick here quick enough. What I'm going to do with, instead of adding a marker color to this, I'm going to just grab my blender pen, and I'm going to kind of just, since this has ink, I'm just going to kind of spread the ink around on here a little bit. More so on the meat portion. And then I'll leave that bone area kind of white. Now, if you do this when you just stamp your ink, it definitely is going to blend a little bit more, but pretty easy. You could do the same thing with your ketchup or mustard depending on what it is that you want to do with that with your blender pen okay so there's that one and then one other thing I'm going to do with this and I like to do this when I cut something out is I'm just going to go around the edge with the crumb cake just to kind of get rid of those little white edges okay and I'm going to do that with this too I'm actually going to get out my terracotta marker, though, just so I'm not too far off on the color. Kind of gives a little bit of more depth to what you did, hiding those white lines. Just like 
like so. There you go. Okay, so now the only thing we really have to do is figure out what we're going to do on the inside. So we have our panel. And this does have lots of great greeting. So we could do love is in the air. Wait, that's barbecue. Or dad like you is rare. I think we could also even swap out a dad like you on the front. And then on the inside is we could put a dad like you is and then well done on the inside. You could even do it's your birthday. So lots of different fun things we could do for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the grill on the inside and then we'll add our little cutout pieces. But I'm going to stamp the grill in black. Oops, where is it? Here it is. I'm going to stamp the grill in black. And then we will color it in a little bit. So you can kind of make this whatever you want to make it. We can do, um, if you use your memento, you can absolutely use your stamp and blends if you wanted to. So make sure this is nicely inked up. And it is supposed to have kind of that wheel back there. So when you're looking at it, you're kind of like, what the heck is that? So we'll put that here. Kind of bottom left-ish. That looks really good. And then just give this a second to dry. Now, also, one other thing you could do is you could emboss this with silver, since I know a lot of people have silver grills. But we also kind of do have that uh, trend of people having grills that are a specific color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. So they have like the enamel colored glues. So I'm going to go with blueberry bushel. And the way I'm going to do it, instead of doing the marker, because it'll be kind of dark, is I'm actually going to start off with... The blender pen okay so you can either do one of two things you could use your ink pad and pick this up if you wanted to if you have your marker handy you could just take a little bit off of the end of the marker and kind of color it now typically what you're going to do is you're going to start with wherever your darker spot is first since we have a little shading here kind of do that first and then bring the rest of it down a little bit lower the nice part about when you are using your Stampin' Blends is they don't leave these little streaky marks because they blend very, very smoothly. So that's one cool thing about those. So I filled that in. Now I'm going to go back with my marker a little bit with the actual brush tip of the marker and just bring in a little bit of color kind of down here at the lid edge, a little bit over here on the side. I know I was a little sloppy with that, but then I'm going to take my blender pen again and kind of drag the color out. Now, one thing you do have to be careful, specifically when you're using the plain whisper white paper, is it can tend to get a little bally. So it'll, it'll start to pill a little bit. So if you're doing something where you think you're going to be blending excessively, I would definitely use thick whisper white because it will hold up a little bit better. Just FYI, because once you kind of start to overwork it, it does tend to get a little, you can almost see the paper pulling up a little bit. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're deciding what it is you're going to do with your paper. Or if you're noticing that every time you you were playing with your paper, you're using your, your blender pens and you're like, why does this happen every time? A lot of times it is dependent on the paper. So if you use the thicker Whisper White paper, or even the shimmer white paper, you won't notice nearly as much, if any at all, of the pilling. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go with, for the bottom, just go with some gray. You could also, if you wanted to get that kind of shiny look without having to do the embossing ahead of time, you could actually put clear embossing powder over these. And then when you color, in, color them in gray, it'll kind of give that chromey look to them. I don't know if anybody even has chromy legs anymore, but then you could clear emboss over the legs. All right, and one more thing. We're just going to make this over here. These will just be wood. And I guess I probably should stick with the same blue here. We'll just make this darker. I'll just blend out this one little spot. 
There we go. So you have that. So we have our little grill there. So again, you could completely go back over this. You could uh, Versamark it just gently. You could re-ink it with Versamark and then you could clear emboss it. You could make sure when you did this part, you did, did it when it was wet, you could sprinkle some embossing paper so you could make it shiny. So that would be super fun. So let's do a dad like you is rare. And that way we can put that. And I also want to put my little flames in here too. So a dad like you is rare. Let's see if I can peel this off. And we will do this in, instead of doing the uh, terracotta, I'm going to do this in Cajun Craze, just so it's a little bit bolder. Okay. All right. Wow. I stamped that straight. I'm very proud of myself. That was a miracle in itself. And then to do the flames, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my marker. So I'm going to do Poppy Parade and Mango. So I'm going to just fill it in with mango, the flame, and then I'm going to add a little bit of poppy kind of to the inside. <gasps> Let's put this right like it's shooting out of the back. Okay, so then all we have to do is add our little things. Now at this point, I really want to use that spray, but I'm afraid it's going to just overpower the entire card, but... You know, I'm going to do it so you guys don't have to. That way if you're kind of like, wow, well, she really should have stopped when she was ahead of the game. So <laughs> I have my spritzer. So I'm taking one for the team now. I am going to spray up a little bit high. That way, worst case scenario, it'll disperse some, right? <laughs> okay. So the first time you do this, a lot of times it doesn't spray right away because it kind of has to suck it up into the spigot. So we can see it's super blue. Okay. So I'm going to keep this pretty far away. No, kind of gives like that fun splatter effect. So with the alcohol, it does dry pretty quickly. I like it. It kind of looks different instead of completely covering it. It looks pretty, pretty cool. Let me just wipe this off so I don't have a catastrophe. I am going to give this a second or so to dry. I don't know. I think it looks kind of neat. Plus it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So something a little different. You know, you never know until you try, right? So again, that is why I try a lot of stuff. Just because I don't want you guys to have to try it after the fact. And you're like, whoo, this did not look good. So if you don't like it, you can leave that part off. So we're just going to put our steak on here. Remember that had double-sided paper on it. So I've just peeled off the release paper. And then we'll add a couple of dimensionals. So I'm going to add just one mini dimensional to the back of this. I'm going to sit this so it's right over here. All right. And then we'll put our steak. Does that have any bigger ones? Wow. There we go. We'll put our burger up on one as well. There you go. And I'll give you enough room to sign right there. Okay. So we could also have kept one of these dudes on the outside here. So we could have put like the hamburger or something on the outside. So remember that you can play around with it. it just depends on what it is you want to do. And since I have all this glue stuff, it'll be kind of hard for me to get the tape runner to stick properly to the back. So I'm just going to liquid glue it. We'll just put this on the inside like that. I don't know. I think that splatter, like something about it does look really cool because it just looks kind of like a background stamp the way it's sprayed. So I really like it. I also like the color combinations with the blueberry bushel and then the peacock with the terracotta tile. I think those colors look really nice together. So it looks really neat. You could also put like flames. You could stamp cut or stamp some flames and then cut them out and put them on the front. We could start, I don't know. This needs a little something. I'm going to put one more thing here on the front just to finish it up. Ah, you know what I would like to do? Let's see. We had the burger. We have this. I'm going to just do a couple flames. And I'm going to stamp these flames. And I'm going to cut a couple of them out and put them on the front. So I'm going to do the same thing. That one was a really light one. And they don't even have to all necessarily be the same color. You could do some of them in just mango. Some of them with mango and then the poppy inside. All right, so that's three. That one is kind of light, but let's see if I can stamp off and stamp over. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim these little flames out. And these aren't going to be perfect because there is a lot of detail to the flame. So I'm just kind of going with the outline of the flame. Just like that and then straight across the bottom. Kind of looks like beware, don't open this gift card. Unless you're the dad that's supposed to be opening it. Or the uncle. Or the dude friend. You know, everybody has that friend that is like the master griller, right? So this could be for them. I even have a friend that when I start grilling, as a matter of fact, my friend Heather is always coming over. Do you want me to take over the grill? She's always doing that for us when we have our summer pool party. So that's always nice to have somebody doing that so you can have some fun with your guests. All right, so I'm just going to put two of these. I'll put on dimensionals. Whoops, that one doesn't want to come. And then one we'll just put flat. Just pop these on the front. Whoops. And this one we'll just put down. So we'll kind of have them. We can kind of have them even so they're kind of near the flames there. You could even do these flames if you wanted to for like a birthday card. <laughs> I don't know. That might be a little much. We could have added something fun to that, but there you go. Oh my gosh, it's 11.49 p.m. Holy cow, you must be on the other side of the uh, pond over there, somewhere on the other side of the ocean. Maybe I'm thinking Australia because I know we usually run opposite of them. So thank you for joining and staying, even though it's so super late. But this card is a really easy card to make for any kind of a gift card, just because you already have your little pocket in there. You could certainly leave a little open space here, but a super fun card. This is a really, really fun stamp set. So like I said, I think for sure now that I've thought about it, this would be a great card to do as well um when we did where is it do you guys remember when we did this pop-up card this would be a great card because you could pop up the elements you could put the grill like trim the grill out and put it in the back and then you could put on little pieces of acetate the burger the corn the kebabs or you could even decorate your panels with that so this would be a really fun card to use with this the stamp set and card would be a great combination together which is actually one of the ideas that I thought would be really really fun with that one anyway but I think on Wednesday we're going to do some embossing paste so I'm definitely going to recreate this card here so we'll do this card we're going to tint our embossing paste again I might do one ahead of time but we would definitely will do one live so you know how to do it and then maybe we'll do some other type of a card as well like with the bike people and some bossing pace or something. We'll figure something else out. But that, I think, is what we're going to do Wednesday. So that is me planning ahead. So something is definitely probably going to go wrong because if you guys remember, I don't usually do a lot planning ahead. This card does stand up, too. So it's another card that they could show off and people could see the inside of the grill. So super-duper fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know I was unannounced and came on. If you haven't already left any type of a comment, make sure you leave a comment because I am going to draw two winners at the end of today. And I'm going to give away two of the imperfect tipsies that Lisa sent to me. So thank you again, Lisa. If you missed how to use the fill station, if you go back to the beginning, I demonstrated this at the very beginning. So it's a really great idea. Easy. That way you don't spill stuff when you do it. Plus you can hold your... Uh, aqua painter and fill that as well you can also fill your aqua painters i i know we've talked about this before you can fill them with water you can fill them with alcohol but you can even fill them with alcohol and add a drop of reinker if you had something specific color wise that you wanted to do so i hope you guys have a wonderful day i hope it is somewhat warm where you are i'm going to go outside and enjoy some of the warm weather myself and I will see you guys, if not tomorrow, I will definitely see you Wednesday right back here on Facebook at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.